question 53. So we have three mutually immiscible solvents. So immiscible means they don't mix. So that's like uh, water and oil. Um, they, uh, they, they would separate into layers. So I tried to draw a beaker here. <laughs> terrible, um, with uh, three mutually immiscible solvents. So they separate into different layers and then a compound is added that can uh, dissolve into these different layers to different degrees. And so we have, we're told, a total of, so by the way, the importance of it being equal volumes is that we can just focus on how many moles are in each layer because that will give us the ratio of the concentration because concentration is really moles per liter but if the volume is going to be the same then the ratio uh, can be just based on the separation of the moles so now that's our focus we're just focusing on where did the moles go so we're given uh, that uh, we have 1.2 moles in roman numeral 2 uh, in that layer and we're told that there is a total of 2.3 moles that dissolved, which means that there must be 1.1 moles uh, that is going to be partitioned between 1 and uh, Roman numeral 3. So we're just trying to look at how is this partitioned, and then we would have the ratio of 1 to 2 to 3. So now we know how it should be partitioned it's 15 to 40 and right away that's a you know it's a math trick you know they've there this is like uh you know the judge berating the lawyer for asking leading questions you know this is uh this is this is leading you somewhere because 15 to 40 is not a normal ratio uh, the ratio should be three to eight <laughs> there's no reason for them to put 15 to 40 unless they were trying to suggest something to you and they are because you, you can actually see it coming because 15 to 40 means that the amount of roman numeral one would be 15 divided by the total amount that would give us the amount of roman numeral one so that's going to be um 15 over 55. See, there's the key, is that number 55 is what they wanted you to see because of 1.1. So 15 over 55, which is the ratio of Roman numeral 1, that's the same thing as saying 30 over 110, which is uh, um, 0 0.3 over 1.1 <laughs> so the 55 is leading you to the 110 which is leading you to the 1.1 which gives you the exact amount of moles of uh, roman numeral one so that means roman numeral one has uh, 0.3 moles in it and therefore um, the rest has to be roman numeral three and so that's going to be uh, 0.8 moles and so here's our ratio 1 to 2 to 3 is 3 to 12 to 8. Just multiply through by uh, 10. And that gives you 53 and your choice A. And if you'd like to play with fractions, you can do so in uh, GAMSAT Math 1.4. And solubility, which would not have helped really for this, uh, other than to understand the issue of volume and moles, that's in uh, Chem 5.3. The nature of science is that there is multiple ways to solve any problem and it's never been my uh, purpose or objective to exhaust all the different ways to solve a problem however I should at least mention that if you did reduce this that is one I mean it might save you half of a step because uh, by reducing uh, 15 to 40 uh, as I said before to 3 to 8 then that actually gives you the uh, relationship between 1 and 3 it is 3 to 8. Now, just to be clear, that only works because if this is a 3 to 8 ratio, it means that 3 out of 11 is this and 8 out of 11 is this. And therefore, it's represented by 0.3 out of 1.1 or 0.8 out of 1.1. So it's only because the total number of moles uh, works out to 1.1 that you could reduce this and it might save just a little bit of time.